Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use slicers for grouping and hiding columns in Excel. If you have too many columns, this will help you to navigate very easily. A native grouping function is Microsoft Excel is not very well and understandable. But we, if we can use slicers, we can easily understand which part of data are displaying right now. For example, the sales numbers, the customer details. It is very easy to understand of our groups. We can use our custom group names here. Also, we can define the grouping names of each columns. So it is very useful to navigate between the columns. No VBA knowledge is required in this solution. The file and the code links are in the description, video description, and just need to copy the code and paste it. Okay, let's see how it works. First of all, I create several lines. I will insert four lines. We will enter the parameters over here and also the slicer will be located here. We have two pages. The first page is for the data. The other page is the items page. Okay, nothing's here. First, I create a table. Okay, these items will be used for grouping on the main page. The table in this example is a customer table, but we have additional columns about projects, sales and interview notes. Okay, I wrote the groups item here. Please note that I add the numbers at the beginning. This will help us to sort slicer easily. On the second column, I'm going to write the ID numbers in order. The table is now ready, almost ready. Now we will convert the table, convert this table to an Excel table. Select the table and hit the insert table button. Insert table button. Excel ask us make this range as a table. Hit OK. Now it's a table and we have new call, new tab called table design. On the table design tab, hit insert slicer. Excel ask us the item and ID, which one we use. We will use item. Okay, now the slicer is here. Let's try it. Slicer automatically filter the table. One more thing to do in this sheet. Click anywhere out of this table and click auto sum and select the B column. This will change when I click the slicer. So also this will trigger our macro. Let me show one thing on this sheet. If you want to select more than one, hit this button. And as you see, you can select more than more than one item. This button will clear your selection. Then cut our slicer, go to my sheet and paste here. Hit the slicer tab and increase the column. For the horizontal use. Okay, that's fine. You can change your design as you wish from here. On the fourth line, we will write which group the column belongs to. 
we will write zeros in the columns that we want to always appear. Now continue to write group numbers. These are simple basic information of the customer. This is not, this is the details maybe. A it's also detail. City will be on the first selection. Created by update. Okay, project ID projects will be our third selection. I'm going to write three for all project columns. That's okay. And the product and this will the sales. I will use the number four. Okay, and the interview will be the number five. Okay. Now it's ready. We can hide these rows. Now our table is ready. Let's paste our code. You can find the code in the description of this video. Please copy it and then hit Alt Alt F11. Now switch to Visual Basic Editor. Locate and double click the sheet number 8 okay and the important thing is here the name should be item double click it and nothing's here I'm going to copy my code Now on the right hand side, paste your code here. Okay, let's go to other page. Okay, now close the Visual Basic Editor. Now one more thing to do. Number four row should be format as a text. I select number four and format cells. It should be text. Now we can test it. I click number two. As you see, we can see together number zero and number two. Now select number three. As you see, we can see number zero and number three sales also one more thing I should do if you select multiple selection from here you can see more than one group together for example customer details and sales details or three of them Now there is one more option to group our columns. For example, if you want the city column will show both on number one and number two. We can write here with a comma one comma two. The city column will show both on number one and number two selection. Let's test. You can see the city on selection number one, number two, and number one. You can see the city also in num selection number one. So you can arrange the columns and filtering options. I hope this will be useful for you. Thank you.